Let me introduce you to my little friend. While this guy might look like an extra from a sci-fi flick, let me point out the fact that while this guy has nothing to do with outer space, what he does is help me make barbecue that's simply out of this world. This is the Brinkman Smoking Grill, which literally can be a smoker and a barbecue. And what's even more interesting is the fact that it's a barbecue that's gone condo. Let me introduce you. All right. Pull off the lid. What you find inside are, count them, two grills. So we can actually stack food on top of each other so that we can cook our ribs on top and let the, the uh, juices drip down on top of our chicken underneath. All right, down inside is the drip pan. And all the way at the bottom, if we look very carefully, you can see where the charcoal goes. And that's actually where we're gonna start. So let me bring out the charcoal and get this sucker set up. Right. Keep it a good barbecue. So first of all, knowing how to handle, handling the care of the charcoal. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set that up and we're gonna soak it down and we're gonna let it soak for exactly 15 minutes and then we're gonna hose it down again and we're gonna let it soak for another 10 before we light it because the last thing you wanna do is have your charcoal go out. You'll notice too that the Brinkman's has this little door on the front and that's for two things. Number one is to control the draft. So when, before we light it, we're gonna open that up. And also, once you get this thing started, the only thing you're gonna open up will be the little hatch here because once we put the drip pan in and fill it up with water, if we're gonna let this thing smoke for say, oh, six or eight hours, we're gonna definitely need to check to make sure that we haven't drained it dry. And we'll come out here and we'll set her up and we'll fire her up and we'll take it from there because that's mostly the work. Once you actually put the meat on there and you close it up, then it's set it and forget it. So we'll be right back. All right, now for the moment we've all been waiting for. We've done our job correctly. One match is all it's gonna take. Now the secret is to let that cook for about 15 minutes until the flames die down, because we don't want to be uh, going in there and setting up our meat and our drip pan and everything, getting ourselves barbecued. So we're gonna let that cook for about 15 minutes until the flames go out and the charcoals are good and hot, and then I'll come back and show you how to put this puppy together and start our, the smoking process. All right, we've let the charcoal cook for about 15 minutes, and now we're gonna add the secret ingredient. This is a bowl of a uh, little bit of mesquite and some apple wood soaked in water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that in top on top of the coals. And what this does, this is the difference between roasting and smoking. Now we're gonna take this bad boy, which is our drip pan. Gonna put it down on the second level here. And we're gonna fill it up with water. Be careful that you don't put out the coals almost exactly a gallon. Then we're gonna put on our first layer. And go get the meat. And if you watched the previous episode, you know we should, I showed you how to do the, my famous gold dust dry rub, which I put on both our chicken and our ribs. So we're gonna put the chicken on first. And we're going to put our top tier on. And by the way, if you want to use this as just a grill, you just eliminate the middle tier and move the charcoal up to the higher level. And then put in our slab of ribs. We're going to let that drip right down on top of the chicken. And now what we're going to do is we're going to close our little droid down but I'm gonna leave the door open for a while because again, I wanna let the temperature come up and there's a little temperature gauge right on the door there, which you might be able to see through the smoke. Or maybe not. There it is. We're gonna let that come up to, to where it says hot and then we're gonna be able to turn that puppy off and then 
for the hardest part of the entire process, which is waiting six to eight hours. And now you know where they get the uh, term smoker from. It's gonna be doing this for quite a while. Now for the hard part. All right, little buddy, let's see what you have for daddy. Oh, yeah. Not to lose any ribs when we pick this stuff off of here because I'm sure this is really tender. And then we're going to go down to the next level, break out Mr. Chicken. Feast your eyes. And now for the moment we've all waited for. All right. Come to Papa. Don't need anything but a butter knife. Here. Here's some for you. 